Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. And today I'm really just asking a few questions for the most part. What is your security plan? Simple as that. Now we can take that a couple of ways. What is your security plan for your home? today you know um, it's something that i think is important enough that we need to be considering it for all the time what is your security plan right now for where you are what is your security plan for where you're not places like your home or your retreat um, but mostly what i'm thinking of today is what is your security plan come an emergency because it's certainly different today than it will be if there's an emergency and anyone who says it's not is, is most likely under informed or exaggerating well, I'm not saying everyone is but for the most part because today very few of us have 24 hour security and if we do it's it's provided by a means that won't be reliable in a disaster or an emergency. Uh, you know, the companies that provide security, and there's a bunch of them, uh, you know, that your alarm goes off on your window sensor and it alerts an, alert, an alarm center and that alarm center calls your dispatch center. And, you know, number one, that's that's not as reliable today as you think it is that's a, perhaps another video but and then there are those well I've got cameras around and and great cameras are great if you're watching them if you're not constantly watching them those cameras are only an investigation tool an aftermath tool which is important I mean that today that's really important it'll be important then too but but so few of us have 24 hour security security that is active and ongoing which I'm actually helping with that subject right now but active and ongoing around the clock observant ready to go you know none of us have that or very few of us actually have the ability to provide that much less you know and by yourself it's almost you all it's impossible impossible by yourself or with a small family unit it is at the very least very very difficult so how are we planning for that and and of course it all starts with a discussion an open discussion on what are our security needs where are our problems that we worried about? Is there, is there a back fence that, that touches a wooded area? Is there, you know, just all kinds of things. And I say that cause there's a fence right over here that it's a wonderful chain link fence with three layers of barbed wire on the top. It's maintained well, as far as integrity but it runs off into the woods and there's a tree touching the end of it and I can't see the corner. What are the weaknesses of our security? And then what resources do we need to provide that? And by those resources, the number one resource that you need is manpower. Often the hardest to get. I don't have a solution for that. That's other discussions and other things we can talk about. But. You need to make those plans and then you need to practice them. You need to be willing to get out and, and take your turn on a weekend event. And that's where I suggest you start is if your group does an overnight or, well, I think your group needs to do an overnight. And my group lacks this as much as anyone else, more than some, less than others. 
but your group needs to be prepared for who's going to run security and how are they going to do that what are the things that they're going to look for they need to train how are they going to alert everyone if there's an issue um both you know do you have a reaction group that are the first people that we we get up or do you just ring a big bell in the middle of town you need to practice them and that's the hard part because from experience i'm here to tell you that when everyone goes okay we're going to meet on the third weekend of every month and we're going to go and i'll see you friday evening and and friday night we all gather in and you know and it's <clears throat> some get there at five o'clock in the afternoon some don't get there till nine they set up camp they sit, you know whatever whatever all that is well then you need to start security well we'll do it tomorrow everyone's tired you know they just got in okay well then tomorrow comes and you have a, a full day of activities you have that that self-defense class in the morning you know you've got the cooks doing their their thing everyone breaks for lunch in the field because we're on our way to the range because we certainly want to burn some powder you go through all that and then it comes time you know it gets dark time for everyone to bed down well who who created the duty roster Who's, who's on rotation? Who's on security? Oh, well, everyone's going to take, you know, an hour and a half or a two-hour shift. Okay, well, where's everyone at? How, who's going to start it? Who's going to wake them up? Who's going to make sure it happens? What happens if Billy and Bob are on detail until midnight and then, you know, James and Josh don't want to get up? Or they say, okay, okay, we're, we got it. You guys go to bed. And they, they don't get out of bed. What happens? You know, what about the next crew? Nobody's there to wake them up. You know, or their alarm doesn't go off or what? whatever excuses. What We got to work all that out now. We got to have it solidified. Everyone's got to understand when they come together, they know that we have to do this. It's part of the training because come come real life, if, if you don't get up or you don't do your job right, people die or have the potential of it. We got to train like we fight, and I'm I'm not I'm not preaching at anyone. I'm talking to myself as much as I am anybody else. Maybe more than some. Think about your security plan and make sure that you have security practice, just like you have firearms practice. Let's get ready. <laughs>